afternoon, everybody, and welcome to St. John Church Kuiper from the street. We are here in my little vineyard. I haven't been here for months since the lockdown. So today, I have been sent here to clean the whole vineyard. I said, no, I don't want to do it. I didn't want to come here. Look, it's all messy. But I gave it a second thought, and I said, maybe it's good sometimes to help other people. I said, well, I'm going to do it just to show obedience and to show love. Now, let's start our Bible story. So last week we were in the vineyard with workers of the last hours, first with the last, the last with the first, and this week we're still in the vineyard, but this time with two sons and a father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, send your Holy Spirit upon us to be our helper and guide. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. What do you think is more important? Your words or your actions? Which one do you think is more important in life? Here is another Jesus wonderful parable. Jesus was telling this parable to some men who considered themselves to be holy. The high priest and the elders, they seem to say all the right things, but they don't do what they say. So Jesus out of his love for these men was trying to get them see themselves how they were really so that they could repent and draw close to him story. our Bible story today is from the gospel of matthew 21 from verse 23 to verse 32 it goes like this we have two stories the authority of jesus question Jesus entered the temple court, and while he was teaching, the chief priests and the elders of the people came to him. By what authority are you doing these things? They asked. And who gave you this authority? Jesus replied, I will also ask you one question. If you answer me, I will tell you by what authority I am doing these things. John's baptism, where did it come from? Was it from heaven or of human origin? They discussed it among themselves and said, If we say from heaven, he will ask, Then why didn't you believe him? But if we say of human origin, we are afraid of the people, for they all hold that John was the prophet. So they answered Jesus, we don't know. Then Jesus said, neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. That was the first story. Now the second story is the parable of the two sons. What do you think? There was a man who had two sons. He went to the first and said, son, go and walk today in the vineyard i will not he answered but later he changed his mind and went then the father went to the other son and said the same thing he answered i will sir he did not go which of the two did what his father wanted the first they answered, Jesus said to them, Truly, I tell you, the tax collectors and the prostitutes are entering the kingdom of God ahead of you. For John came to you to show you the way of righteousness, and you did not believe him. But the tax collectors and the prostitutes did. And even after you saw this, you did not repent and believe him. The end. That was our Bible story today. Now, what can we take from our Bible story here in the vineyard? The lesson is true repentance is shown by our obedience. So children, obey your parents in all things for this is pleasing to the Lord. So we can learn from the first son. If we do something wrong, we repent from it and ask Jesus to forgive us. Remember, God is loving 
and forgiving. He desires obedience, but when we fail, he is always willing and quick to restore us if we are repentant. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love so freely given to us. We ask you, Lord, to help us to obey you in all things, that we will be pleasing to you and that we will serve you from a heart of love in the name of Jesus. Amen. I hope you have enjoyed the Sunday school today and I wish you to have a wonderful week and see you next week.